Hi, I am Rochelle Wiedenheft, and I am the Collection Field Coordinator here at Seed Savers Exchange. Today we're going to talk about how to process beans. And this method will work for any legume. So that includes cowpeas, limas, soybeans, and peas. And in fact, today we are going to be demonstrating with limas. Um, if you have a small quantity of beans, you can just do this by hand. It's really easy. You can just crack open the, the shells and um, the pods open up really easily um, for most legumes. And then you can just collect the seeds and throw the pods away into your compost. So if you have a small quantity, um, that method is very easy. And today we're, I'm going to show you a method that is really easy if you have a more, a slightly more quantity that it would just take a really long time to hand process. Um, so we're going to thresh these pods by using our feet and then we're going to winnow using a fan. So first pour um, a whole bunch of your pods into a tub. It's important to um, make sure that you have enough plant material into your in your container so that there's more than one or two layers of pods at the bottom um, because we'll be stepping on the seeds. We want to make sure that there's enough plant material to distribute that weight and not damage the seeds when we step. Um, and then the second thing that you'll want to make sure that your container is a fairly flat bottom. So here you can see that there's not lots of ridges on the bottom. Um, ridges make it harder to do the threshing and um, more likely that the seeds will get damaged. And then the third thing is you want to make sure you have shoes that have a flat sole. So these boots have kind of a soft sole and don't have thick tread um, and so they will uh, once again distribute that weight um, really nicely so that the seeds don't get damaged. And then step in. So as you thresh, you want to um, do lots of different movements. Make sure that you're getting the corners of your container and you can kind of shuffle around a little bit to um, do like more of a friction movement rather than just a stomping movement. So just vary the types of movement, movements that you're using and try to make sure that all your pods get cracked open. Once you notice that there are a lot of um, loose seeds at the bottom of your container, it's probably time to start winnowing. So to winnow, I prefer to dump all of my seeds and chaff into a smaller container. It makes it easier for me to um, hold the container up above the stream of air. And um, today I'm using a fan um, and <clears throat> but if it is a really windy day with a, a strong directional wind I could just do the same process with wind um, and if you're using a fan outside I would suggest doing it on a calm day 
today is not as calm as it should be. So we might notice that the, the wind is, um, will kind of maybe mess up our stream of air from our fan, but I think it'll still work pretty well. Um, so I have my fan up on a little stand so that the bottom of the airstream is coming across the top of this container that will collect the seeds. Um, if the fan was on the ground, this bin would kind of interrupt the, the stream of air. We don't want that. So I'm just gonna hold this container up above the airstream and what hopefully you'll see um, is the seeds will fall straight down because they're heavy enough to um, kind of just go with gravity rather than the air. Um, and then the empty shells and pods will um, just kind of catch the wind and go out of the bucket, hopefully. slowly. That's important to make sure the stream of plant material is kind of slow and steady. You don't want big chunks of chaff falling down all at once, especially at the beginning when there's a lot more chaff material compared to the seeds. Um, if there's big chunks of chaff, it can kind of catch some of the seeds and um, potentially have seeds actually fall outside of the bucket instead of going straight down. So now you can see that there is a lot less chaff than there was before. Um, still some in there. So what I'm going to do is just try to break up some of these pods that are either big and heavy on their own or potentially just pods that haven't even split open and still have seeds inside. Once again, we can see there is still some chaff in there. There are a couple of pods that have some seeds. Um, and these pods that don't have seeds might just be kind of thick and heavy on their own. lima beans. This variety is called Drake. It's one of my favorite limas that we grew this year. So from here you can, um, if you're saving the seeds to plant next year, you can really easily store um, these seeds from this point 
and if you're going to cook with them you can just give them a rinse they'll be still a little bit dusty um, but rinsing them in the kitchen will be your last step thanks for watching